smart. Then you have a car going at 50 kilometers per hour. And then all of a sudden it's, what's the speed limit? 100 kilometers per hour? It's 100 kilometers per hour after a time. That car accelerated. You would see the speed gauge where it's it accelerated, it changed its speed. So acceleration has to do with the change in velocity. Velocity is another word for speed, but it carries a little more because velocity means what direction are you going in? What are you going to Port of Spain or to San Fernando? Which which speed um which direction you are going in with this speed, right? So velocity is a better word to use. So acceleration is how fast you change your velocity. How fast does that speed gauge change? But <coughs> Notice what I say, how fast you change it. What if the car went from 50 to 100 in 5 seconds? That would have been really quick, right? So it's changing its velocity fast. It's accelerating quickly. to go quick. Now, what if the car took a whole minute to do that? Like a bus. Well, then it would have changed its velocity slow. It has a slow acceleration. And if you play a need for speed and games like that, you would see cars with faster acceleration able to reach their top speed quicker. So that's acceleration. Acceleration is change in velocity, but we also need to include this. Divided by how fast it takes you to change the velocity. So change in velocity divided by time taken. So 50 to 100 divided by 5 seconds, like in the, ex the first example I gave. Can you put that in a mathematical way? Yes. This is how it would look mathematically. Acceleration is equal to V2 minus V1 over T2 minus T1. Looks a little confusing. All this is saying, this is the change in velocity. This is the final velocity. And this is the initial velocity. How fast you are going initially. So you're changing velocity. And how long did it take you? This was the T1 is the initial time. And T2 is the final time. So this is the equation for acceleration. Acceleration is how much the velocity change. And how long did it take to change. Divide that. Divide those two values. Alright. So... Essentially, CXC wants you to know this definition. The rate of change of velocity with respect to time. This is the definition for acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. So memorize that. Rate, we use this word rate anytime we're dealing with time. So it's the rate, how, how quick it's doing it, how fast you change your velocity with respect to time. Uh, there's a next thing you need to know. There are Two types of graphs in this field of mathematics for CX, for CX, CC set. There are speed time graphs and there are distance time graph. We're not doing distance time graph now. I just want you to look at in a speed time graph, the gradient is actually the change in y over the change in x. If you know you remember your gradient, gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2, x2 minus x1. What is that? That is actually the speed divided by the time, which is the acceleration right so same thing the gradient of that graph when you work out the gradient of this graph if you get a question of what a speed time graph and you work out the gradient the gradient at that point where you work out the gradient is actually the acceleration one last thing to go with you can probably try this question what is the acceleration of a car that goes from 10 kilometers per hour to 70 kilometers per hour in four seconds using the formula I substitute in the value, see if you can figure out what's going on here. And see if you can get the answer. Put the answer in the comments below. If you have problems on this, feel free to comment.